there crypto fans and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today guys, we're going to learn all about NFTs from a complete beginner's perspective. So without wasting any time guys, we're just going to dive right in and see what NFTs are all about. Now, this video is mainly for beginners. Um, this video is not for experts. It's not for people who are already familiar with NFTs. This video is literally for people like me who have no idea what NFTs are, but they want to learn about it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just read up, read on the internet, do some research, and see what NFTs are all about. So before someone goes ahead and gets all gets all upset and you know starts leaving comments, oh, you just read a website. Yes. I am going to say I'm going to read from a website. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm doing research to figure out what NFTs are. So that's the whole point of this video. And at the end of me reading, I'm going to check out a bunch of different NFT marketplaces and check out some, uh, you know, check out some NFTs, see what's out there, see what people are, you know, making, see what people are creating and see how much stuff is selling for. So guys, uh, we're going to be doing some research here and reading about NFTs on the blog called Creative Block. All right, so confused about NFTs? Well, we explain all you need to know. All right, guys, so the term NFT has been all over the headlines lately, often in relation to some whopping sums of money. But you may have been wondering what all the fuss is all about. If you're not sure what an NFT or non-fungible token is or how exactly they work, we're here to help. This guide explains everything you need to know about NFTs, including what they are, how, how they work, uh, why they've caused some controversy, and how you can get involved. You can check out some of their favorite NFT artwork here. And, okay, so yeah. So guys, what is an NFT? An NFT, in essence, is a collectible digital asset, which holds value as a form of cryptocurrency and as a form of art or culture. Much like art is seen as a value-holding investment, now so are NFTs. But how, you might ask? Well, First, we're going to break down the term. Uh, NFT stands for non-fungible token, a digital token that's a type of cryptocurrency, much like Bitcoin or Ethereum. But unlike a standard coin in the Bitcoin blockchain, an NFT is unique and can't be exchanged like for like, hence non-fungible. Uh, so what makes an NFT more special than a run-of-the-mill crypto coin? Well, the file, st the file stores extra information which elevates it above pure currency and brings it into the realm of, well, anything really. The types of NFTs are super varied, but they could take the form of a piece of digital art or a music file. Anything unique that could be stored digitally and be thought of to hold value, essentially, they're like any other physical collector's item. But instead of receiving an oil painting on a canvas to hang on your wall, for example, you just simply get a JPEG file. Uh, so, how do NFTs work? So, NFTs are part of the Ethereum blockchain, so they are individual tokens with extra information stored in them. That inf extra information is the important part, which allows them to take the form of art, music, video, and so on, in the form of JPEGs, MP3s, videos, GIFs, and more. And because they hold value, they can be bought and sold just like other types of art. And, like with physical art, the value, the value is largely set by the market and by the demand. Uh, that's not to say there's only one digital version um, of an NFT art available on the marketplace, though. In much the same way as art prints of an original art are made, used, bought, and sold, copies of an NFT are still valid parts of the blockchain. But they will not hold the same value as the original. And don't go, don't go thinking that you've hacked the system by right-clicking and saving the image of an NFT either. You won't make, that won't make you a, million, a millionaire because uh, your downloaded file won't hold the information that makes it part of the Ethereum blockchain. Does that make sense? So, all right, guys, uh, where can you buy NFT, to NFT tokens? Oh, boy, there's a lot of places you can buy NFT tokens. Uh, we're going to look at some here in a little bit. But uh, NFT tokens, NFTs can be bought on a variety of platforms and which you choose will depend on what you want to buy. For example, if you want to buy baseball cards, you're, you're best heading to your best heading to a site like digital trading cards. But other marketplaces sell um, more generalized pieces. Um, you'll need a wallet specific to the platform you're buying on and you'll need to fill that wallet with cryptocurrency. As the sale of... Uh, Beeple's every, Beeple's every day is the first 5,000 days of Christie's, 
which is above. Uh, okay, that's right here. Um, some pieces are beginning to hit more mainstream auction houses too. So these are these also are worth watching out for in case you missed it. That Beeple piece, this, so this piece up here that they're talking about, was one that went for $69.3 million, guys. This piece of art right here sold for $69.3 million. That is just insane right there. All right, guys, so because of the high demand of many types of NFTs, uh, they are often released as drops. Um, this means a, frenz a frenzied rush of eager buyers when the drop starts. So you'll need to be registered and have your wallet topped up ahead of time. Uh, and here's a list of a bunch of different places that sell NFTs, and we're going to be looking at some of them here in a little bit, um, just to check out what kind of artwork they have on them. So NFTs are also making waves as in-game purchases across different video games as well. These assets can be bought and sold by players and include playable assets like unique swords, skins, or avatars. So guys, there's a lot of NF you know, a lot of games in the NF in the NFT world out there. You can buy, you know, in-game items for those games. So that's pretty cool. Um, and of course we got this popular one right here, um, the Rainbow Cat, which sold for 690 million, or sorry, 690,000. Uh, let's see here. Um, I don't want to keep going on and on and on about this stuff. So um, we already got a pretty good idea of what NFTs are. Um, you know, nobody wants to sit here and read a, a bunch of mumbo jumbo about this. So, oh, here's a good one. Um, so the NBA has the NBA has Top Shot, a way of selling digital collectibles in the form of trading cards embedded with iconic moments from the game, with a plan to add virtual jewelry, accessories, and clothing that can be used across social media. The NBA is seeking ways to f ways to expand this revenue stream as far as it can go. Also, guys, this is pretty great. I was reading about this earlier. Um, even tweets hold value, with Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey selling off the first ever tweet for a massive $2.9 million. So that's, I thought that was pretty funny reading about that. Um, you know, mis musicians are also selling rights to originals of their work and stuff, so... Uh, yeah, guys, there's just a lot of different things you can sell, and that's why, you know, that's why NFTs are pretty big time right now. You know, a lot of artists are really getting into it. They're selling their, they're starting to sell their work. Uh, people, you know, new people who are, you know, are good at selling digital art. Um, you know, there's, there's never been an area for um, digital artists to sell their stuff. So this is, this is something that's huge, you know, so... All right, guys, we're going to take a look at some of these uh, NFT marketplaces now and see what kind of like artwork we can find on them because I'm kind of curious to see what the, the, a lot of these places sell. So uh, the first one I came across, which is not on here, actually, uh, is Podicall. Um, I've done I've done a video on this project before, and it's one of my currently actually favorite projects because I, I love animals. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I lo I'm a big fan of animals, so... I don't care what it has to do with animals. I just love animals, so this is pretty great. Um, you can buy NFTs of uh, digital trading cards of like uh, uh, different pets and stuff like that. Um, you can buy uh, see check this check this out. You can buy NFTs of personal pets, uh, trading cards, digital art, videos, audio, sprites um, for celebrity pets. Same thing. Uh, same with wildlife. You know, they don't have. Podocall doesn't have their NFT marketplace uh, up and running yet, but if you're interested in, you know, stuff like this, um, you know, it's coming soon. Uh, they're working on Adapt to make their NFT marketplace live. So if you're really curious and you, you know, you're a big animal fan as well, you know, come to Podocall and, uh, you know, check it out. All right, guys. So the next one is OpenSea, which a lot of people have probably already heard of. Um, OpenSea is a giant marketplace for buying and selling um, NFTs, as you can see. Uh, I mean, look at this. They, they've got some pretty pretty interesting stuff here. That's pretty cool right there. Uh, let's see here. What else they got? You know, we're not going to dive too deep into this stuff. We just want to check out different stuff that they have. Uh, Zed Run. Everybody's heard, heard of Zed Run. That's kind of made a big... It's kind of made a big... Uh, made a big dent recently. A lot of people are really into that, but... See, as you can see here, uh, let's see here, we're just going to click on something random. That's great. Um, that's great, too. All right, so we're just going to click on this real quick. So as you can see, this is selling for, the sale ends today, and 
it's selling for $83.40, pretty much. Um, so yeah, guys, that's that's pretty much what people have bidded on it. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So yeah, that's pretty great, guys. Um, so that's OpenSea. They've got a lot of different play, uh, a lot of different things you can you know buy. So as you can see, they got a ton of different categories. Uh, you can buy art, domain names, virtual worlds, sports, collectibles, trading cards, utility, and you know, or you can just you know explore all NFTs, which is again pretty cool. So yeah, it's kind of fun just to sit here and look through all this stuff. All right, uh, here's another one, another NFT marketplace. I thought this one was really cool. This one currently is selling for $4,222. It's a really cool picture, honestly. It's very creative. Um, what else do they got here? This is interesting, too. Um, this is, too. Wow. See, you guys, so you can really, like, there's a lot of really cool different things that people create on here, and it's, it's really cool to see this stuff, you know, See the, see people selling cool stuff like this. Um, here's one that's selling for around twenty thousand dollars. Wow, people can make a lot of money selling this this artwork. So as you guys can see, this is a huge gateway for digital artists. It really, really is. Uh, you know, people can make a lot of money selling digital art, and for good reason too. Um, you know, I don't know how you're going to display it or anything like that, but uh, there's a lot of cool different stuff here. Um, this one here is called Foundation App. Uh, here's another one called Vive. Um, and this one was, you know, we're, we're going through the list of uh, what was on Creative Block right now. So that one was Vive. This one's Bakery Swap. Everybody's heard of Bakery Swap, or a lot of us anyway. Uh, we even got some Trump stuff and some... Uh... So yeah, um, that pretty much does it, guys. And they've got a lot of cool stuff. Again, here's, I think this is... I think these NFTs are for like in-game items or something like that. That's kind of what it seems like to me. So, all right, uh, what else we got here? Rarible, Rarible is another one. That's pretty cool. I don't even know how to create these. I, I'm not like unique enough to create this kind of stuff myself, so I could not get into this stuff. But you know, hey, my hat is off to the people who do, who do create this stuff. This is really cool. Uh, here's another really cool one. That's awesome. Um, all right, guys. So uh, now that I'm running, I mean, I'm running out of things to talk about for NFTs now. But I mean, we got a pretty good idea of what NFTs are all about. So um, yeah, guys. Now that we got a pretty good idea of what NFTs are all about, you know, if you guys would like, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to my channel so that you guys can join me in learning about all these different great cryptocurrency uh, aspects with me in my future videos. And with that said, you guys, thanks again for watching and learning with me. And I hope to see you guys in the comment section of my future videos.